I'm Al Pryor, Executive Vice President of Artists and Repertoire for Mac Avenue Records and sometimes producer. Hi, I'm Todd Whitelock, um, freelance recording and mixing engineer. Had the good fortune to work with Mac Avenue for about 11 years and with Al Pryor for all 11 of those years. Todd and I are, are both Sony alumni, and after that that working relationship, I knew that this was the guy that I wanted to continue making records with, and the guy that I thought understood how to capture the sound of an acoustic instrument, which was of critical importance to me in terms of Mac Avenue building its own sound that uh, you can clearly hear with the best work that we do aspires to what the great labels have done over time, the Blue Notes and the Red Seals and CBS Masterworks. And in the course of that, we have been on this constant search for the tools that will help us get there. And we've been fortunate. I'm not going to say that it's not difficult. We live in a, in a time of great difficulty in the music industry where the means of distribution are changing, the manner in which we capture the, the music is evolving almost on a day-by-day -day basis. But if you're going to survive in that environment, you need the right tools. And fortunately, companies like Dangerous that have come along that understood the transition from the analog world to the digital world have helped us to get there and to be able to try to bridge that gap. And Dangerous is foremost among them. Yeah, we had started on large format consoles, uh, analog and digital. Uh, my favorite at Sony was the 888R. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, to my great relief, the Dangerous gear had the clarity and the transparency that I knew Al was going to like. That's why a lot of the stuff isn't even on a console anymore. We find the shortest signal path might be straight out of the converter, you know, brought together and summed with a 2 bus plus. It has changed literally, you know, the way that we make records. But the changes were not subtle. Dog ears were not required. You can get closer to the performance and closer to the emotion of the music. And in this particular case, uh, Christian plays a, a incredible solo, even though he's playing pizzicato at lightning speed, you can hear the nuance of where he is on the bass from the lowest range to the highest range. You can only do that and separate that from the kick drum and properly get an ensemble sound if you have all the information and you are depending on your converter to give you that. And that's what we were able to get. And obviously we weren't the only ones to get it because that got the Grammy. So clearly the people who were listening were able to hear that difference and hear the nuances and the subtlety and the emotion of the performance as well as the technique that was involved. And that's what makes for a Grammy winning um, performance and documentation. And you need the tools to do it and that's where Dangerous comes in.